All right, what's up guys, it's Paris. I'm used to saying Paris wrestling, but what's up guys, it's Paris. And um, today's video, it's like, kind of not what I usually post. Um, Mental health month is May. And I'm gonna talk about my experience with mental health and what wrestling means to me. This is kind of weird talking about like my struggles to a camera because right now the world's in a bad place. We're doing a freaking like epic pandemic we're basically in civil war right now. We're, we're tearing each other down. and It's just not right. It's not good at all. So I feel like if I share my story to like 20 of you, um, it can inspire other people and we can help spread awareness. Um, if you hear meowing, that's my cat. Um, he's six months and he's a baby, so he's always meowing. So I suffer from anxiety and depression and the only thing that's been constant in my life was always wrestling ever since I was a little girl, you know, like six years old, seven, like every time I was sad, I would think about wrestling, you know, WWE 12, I would like have scenarios in my mind with like create a story mode. And I swear if it wasn't for wrestling, I wouldn't be alive today. Like that's a big sentence right there. Um, the people I met from wrestling, Wyatt, Wyatt, freaking Damien, freaking Alex, like Alex saved my life. Um, Ashley, Emma, Maury, Sarah, Kai, all those people. Um, it's a big part of my life. I used to be bullied because of my eye. Um, I'm kind of cross eyed. I've had three surgeries. If you check out all my previous videos, you can see myself, you know, looking different. Uh, cross eyed. Um, people used to call me Fetty Wap. I had a whole camp of people make fun of me like go cross-eyed when they're looking at me um i had my best friend make fun of my eye um so it, it always brought my self-esteem down you know because it's hard for me to make eye contact with people and some of you guys would come up to me and like i'll try to end the conversation because you know I, I have anxiety i cannot talk for my life um i cannot do presentations in school so it's just really tough on me like I mean, I'm sorry you making videos. I just want to, like, I don't know. I'm just, like, that type of person. Like, it's just crazy. I've blinded my left eye, three surgeries. Um, my eye would hurt every now and then. I'd blown out my knee. And uh, wrestling was always there for me. Um, John Cena and The Undertaker. I truly wouldn't be there for them. Aunt Sasha Banks, freaking Sonya Deville. Um... And like right now in this world, like George Floyd, yeah, George Floyd, remember that name, George Floyd. He viciously got killed by a freaking police officer, like kneeling on his throat. And um, as a black person, I'm scared to go outside and that speaks volumes. I'm scared of like anything happening. It's really, really scary. Um, Alex Bliss, who was it? Like stupid, like. JD from New York, if you follow him, please unsubscribe to me right now. Like, that guy's a complete idiot. He's really saying stuff about Alexa Bliss because her, like, in ring skills are, like, comparing to her sex skill, sex life, which is totally unacceptable. Um, sir, you're, like, freaking 40 years old living in your mom's basement. You don't need to be talking about, like, a 28 year old like that. Like, go away. She's more successful than you. I don't know why you and your followers are bringing her down like that and having Lester speak out on the topic really like brings my heart to joy but when Naomi was getting like called a monkey like the banana emoji like wrestlers stayed silent and most of the wrestlers are staying silent right now for the George Floyd and others getting killed by police brutality um so when I'm gonna be training for wrestling soon yeah I'm going to devote my life to wrestling. Um, I'm going to speak out on these situations. So I just want to spread kindness. Because I know what it's like to be bullied. I almost taken my life before. So it's kind of scary. Um, bullying sucks. It really sucks. Especially from the ones that you love. Um, I'm not confident about my eyes. I don't think I never will be. But it's something I have to live with. Um, being half blind sucks. It really does. That's why I have to wear glasses sometimes. Like right now, it's like midnight. Um, I'm just on 
thinking about, you know, the Stuart Flood situation, the protesting. We're basically in civil war again. Like, everyone's equal. I don't care if you're black, white, gay, lesbian, trans. I don't know. Anything. I don't care. You matter. You matter to this world. You are put here for a reason. And I'm just a 16-year-old making videos, sharing my story. And I know wrestling means a lot to other people, you know. I know my friends meet their, like, the love of their lives because of wrestling. <sighs> wrestling is the love of my life. As a little girl, I always, 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 always wanted to wrestle. I used to wrestle with my sisters, too. And, um... When I start wrestling, I want people to feel the way I felt when I watched all my favorites. When I was watching them wrestle. You know, when your heart starts being fast and you want them to win a title. And when they finally do it, you want to cry. It's something I want to bring little girls, little boys, everyone. And I'm going to work my ass off to do anything to wrestle. Of course, you know... The promo part, I have to get over my uh, fear of public speaking, which I am very, very bad at. Uh, I wouldn't be here for wrestling. You know? Something I'm always grateful for. Um, I just want to be great at wrestling when I start training soon. Um, I know what it's like to be a victim of bullying and I'm not gonna come here and like be a hypocrite I used to say hurtful words to people and like I regret it so much so I just wanna let you know black lives matter you know I'm half white half black I don't care black lives matter my life matters your life matters and whoever's watching this if you're like facing something like battling something you know my DMs are always open just don't be creepy um, I'm happy I'm here. There's my cat. I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy that wrestling saved my life. Wrestling is the only thing that was there for me because people kept coming and going. Like, my love for basketball kept coming and going, but wrestling was always there. Every Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday, I devote my time to wrestling. I always devote my time 24-7 to wrestling. Um, so, yeah... I hope this isn't too sappy, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're going through something, you're not alone. The 1-800, you can always text 741741. The crisis hotline, I've texted it before. I have great friends from the wrestling community, and I really appreciate you. And I just want to mention the suicide of Hannah Kamara. Cyberbullying is not funny. Um, it's not. I know someone has taken their life. And someone that's almost taken their life, I know what it feels like. So please don't, don't say meaningful words on the internet. Please don't send it that threats. Please just be kind, be nice to one another. I love you all so much. And I'm always going to be here for you. And wrestling is my family. I, don't, I probably would have been dead if it wasn't for wrestling, if I'm being honest. I met my best friends through wrestling. Now, it's something that, I don't know, I'm about to cry, so. I can't wait to get tattoos of the Undertaker symbol, the Bella Twin symbol, hustle, loyalty, respect symbol. And the day I start wrestling, it's gonna change my life. And um, I know. You know, I look like a boy. I'm a girl, actually. If you didn't notice, people call me a boy. It's like, why bully? Why cyber bully? R.I.P. Shad, Jasper, R.I.P. Hannah, Kamira. Um, just don't bully. Spread love. We're all equal. We all bleed the same color. Alright. So, it was nice to see you guys. Please take care of yourselves. Mental health is important just as any physical health or any sickness. Because mental health is a sickness. And you are not alone. Alright? You're not alone. Um, I have a big unboxing coming. I ordered the Bella Twins book like three weeks ago. And plus some shirts are coming in. So, thank you guys for watching. I should go get some sleep right now. And um, God bless you. Black Lives Matter.